Gracias, señor presidente. Thank you, Mr. President. Distinguished Human Rights Council, the subject of the right to development is something that is in fashion today in the third world countries and countries of the third world who see it as a symbol of progress in a modern, civilized, and developed society. However, all of this has a very dark and shadowy backdrop, which contrasts with the reality of these modern times and technological progress, which um, does not allow for the very essence of life as an indigenous person and biodiversity to continue between different cultures. Respect for human rights for the indigenous peoples enshrined in Convention Number 169 of the ILO, fully enforced today in Chile, however, Uh, does not um, mean that there is commitment on uh, behalf of uh, the uh, governments, uh, nor is there political will to uphold this right to development, since the entire world is witness to the double standards and the populist language, uh, ambiguous language, which has now been used by Chilean uh, government officials who are in the service of foreign economic interests. The situation on our territory has had serious consequences, such as the forced impoverishment of Mapuche communities, the pollution of water, the serious deterioration of the environment and natural resources, and the usurpation of our territory. Claiming these rights has meant violent repression being brought to bear against those who have made these claims, including arbitrary detentions, torture, raids of communities, and even murders. In today, uh, right today, there are 35 Mapuche political prisoners. In Elia, there are two minors on a hunger strike. 32 of them started their protest on 12th July of this year, and today they have uh, gone through 67 uh, days of uh, strike in their health situation is extremely serious. They uh, were tried under the anti-terrorist law, which was reduced during the military dictatorship, which criminalized their just demands for recovery of their ancestral lands. When Chile is preparing to commemorate the bicentenary of its independence, the aspirations of the Mapuche people for their rights continue to be undermined.